Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, today I will show everybody how I made this year's Thanksgiving turkey and how I made the gravy to go with this turkey. So this is just about everything I used. Um, I used four apples. Um, this is about a cup of butter, which will get melted later. And then uh, three stalks of chopped celery, some lemon, um, about one and a half lemons actually chopped up, and two chopped onions. And then I used fresh rosemary and fresh thyme and fresh sage. Just slice the apples into smaller pieces and cutting out the core. And then we'll chop the herbs, set aside two sprigs of a rosemary, and then peel off all the leaves on the rosemary sticks and uh, chop them up pretty finely so you could use them to season the turkey. So here I am pulling off the uh, thyme leaves from their stems and there's a little trick I learned as I find a branch to show you guys. So all you do is take one end of the branch, um, hold at the end where the, where the leaves are starting to grow towards and then pull in the opposite direction that the leaves are growing in. And that is, a, that's probably the easiest way I know how to pull all those little leaves off. So I chopped up some sage and then added it to the rest of our herbs. So there you go, that's a little bowl that's a mix of rosemary, thyme, and sage. I wanna say it's about a half cup of herbs. So I softened the butter by putting it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds and then I'm just throwing um, all of the herbs into the butter and mixing it really well with my hands. And then just a squeeze of lemon into the butter. Next, we're going to butter up the turkey, and I actually already separated the uh, skin from the turkey breast, and you want to shove a good amount of butter into that space between the turkey breast and the skin of the turkey breast. And this is to help uh, make that breast nice and moist and add some flavor into that meat as well. I'm going to say Christmas Eve is coming soon Now are you dear old man Whisper what you will bring to me Tell me if you can When the clock is striking twelve When I'm fast asleep Down the chimney broad and black With your past So once you're done buttering up the turkey, what you want to do is tuck those little wings behind the turkey, just like that. And this just helps with presentation and also helps prevent getting those little burnt tips on the wings. So now we are going to stuff the turkey carcass with all of the aromatics we chopped up earlier. And this is to help give the turkey lots of flavor. And later on, we're going to use these um, ingredients to uh, cook the homemade gravy that will go with the turkey. What to give a
and uh, whatever you can't fit inside the turkey can just go around the turkey inside the pan and we will use the, these ingredients as well to make the gravy at the end. And once everything's set, you want to preheat the oven at 450 degrees and then you'll sort of broil the turkey in the oven at 450 for 30 minutes and after that set it down to 325. And the general rule is to cook it for 15 minutes for each pound. So I cooked this turkey for about three hours and then let it rest for two hours afterwards. So after the turkey's rested for a few hours, you want to lift the turkey from the pan and start dicing up all of the onions that were uh, left in the pan. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about the apples because the, the apples pretty much disintegrate because of, through all the heat. Now you want to chop up everything that was inside the turkey. Now be very careful because everything that was inside the turkey may still be very hot. Once all that's done, you can take the whole pan into the stove or onto the stove and you want to cook it until everything is reduced to a very thick sauce. Now this can take quite some time, um, probably at least 20 to 30 minutes and you want to stir quite frequently. Um, here I'm just adding some chicken broth to give it some more juice because it's a little dry. And you want to keep stirring and cooking and stirring and cooking. And here I added um, a sprig of cinnamon just to give it a little bit more of a toasty flavor. And here it's just about done. But once it looks like this, you want to get a pot and a strainer. And you want to put the strainer over the pot. You could either uh, scoop it out like this or pour the whole pan into there. I'm just using this to show you guys. But you want to squeeze all of the little juices out and then it gives you this really potent uh, gravy that you could put on your turkey. You really don't need much of it at all because there's just so much flavor in that. And this concludes the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.